10 things you didn't know about Equatorial Guinea. Hello, explorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by the explorer, and thanks for watching. In this video, we will take an in depth look at one of Africa's smallest countries, Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is a country located on the west coast of Central Africa and a former colony of Spain. Its post independence name evokes its location near both the equator and the Gulf of Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is the only sovereign African state in which Spanish is an official language. Equatorial Guinea consists of two parts, an insular and a mainland region. The insular region consists of the islands of Bioko in the Gulf of Guinea and Anobon, a small volcanic island which is the only part of the country south of the equator. Bioko Island is the northernmost part of the Equatorial Guinea and it is the site of the country's capital, Malabo. The Portuguese-speaking island nation of Sao Tome and Principe is located between Bioko and Anobon. The mainland region, Rio Muni, is bordered by Cameroon on the north and Gabon on the south and east. It is the location of Bata, Equatorial Guinea's largest city, and Cusdat de la Paz, the country's planned future capital. Rio Muni also includes several small offshore islands such as Corisco, Elobe Grande, and Elobe Chico. The country is a member of the African Union, Francophone, OPEC, and the CPLP. Human trafficking is a significant problem. The 2012 U.S. Trafficking in Persons report stated that Equatorial Guinea is a source and destination for women and children subjected to forced labor and forced sex trafficking. The report rates Equatorial Guinea as a government that does not fully comply with minimum standards and is not making significant efforts to do so. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. Number 1. Equatorial Guinea has an authoritarian government. Equatorial Guinea's government is authoritarian and has one of the worst human rights records in the world, consistently ranking amongst the worst of the worst in Freedom House's annual survey of political and civil rights. Reporters Without Borders ranks President Teodoro Obiang Nguema Mbasogo among its predecessors of press freedom. The current president of Equatorial Guinea is Teodoro Obiang. The 1982 constitution of Equatorial Guinea gives him extensive powers, including naming and dismissing members of the cabinet, making laws by decree, dissolving the Chamber of Representatives, negotiating and ratifying treaties, and serving as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Prime Minister Francisco Pascual Obama Asu was appointed by Obiang and operates under powers delegated by the President. During the four decades of his rule, Obiang has shown little tolerance for opposition. While the country is nominally a multi-party democracy, its elections have generally been considered a sham. According to Human Rights Watch, the dictatorship of President Obiang used an oil boom to entrench and enrich himself further at the expense of the country's people. Since August 1979, some 12 real and perceived unsuccessful coup attempts have occurred to show how dissatisfied many are with the ruling government. Equatorial Guinea has five islands. Equatorial Guinea is on the west coast of Central Africa. The country consists of a main island territory, Rio Muni, which is bordered by Cameroon to the north and Gabon to the east and south, and five small islands, Bioko, Corisco, Anobo, Elobi Chico, or Small Elobi, and Elobi Grande, or Great Elobi. Bioko, the site of the capital, Malabo, lies about 40 kilometers off the coast of Cameroon. Anobo Island is about 350 kilometers west-southwest of Cape Lopez in Gabon. Corisco and the two Elobi Islands are in Corisco Bay, on the border of Rio Muni and Gabon. Despite its name, no part of the country's territory lies on the equator. It is in the northern hemisphere except for the insular Anobon province, which is about 155 kilometers south of the equator. Number 3. Equatorial Guinea has fair climate. Equatorial Guinea has a tropical climate with distinct wet and dry seasons. From June to August, Rio Muni is dry and Bioko wet. From December to February, the reverse occurs. In between the seasons, there is gradual transition. Rain or mist occurs daily on Anobo, where a cloudless day has never been registered. The temperature at Malabo, Bioko, ranges from 16 to 33 degrees Celsius, though on the southern Moka Plateau, normal high temperatures are only 21 degrees Celsius. In Rio Muni, the average temperature is about 27 degrees Celsius. Annual rainfall varies from 1,913 mm at Malabo to 10,920 mm at Eureka, Bioko, but Rio Muni is somewhat drier. Number 4. The ecology of the country is diverse. Equatorial Guinea spans several ecoregions given that Rio Muni region lies within the Atlantic Equatorial Coastal Forest ecoregion 
except for patches of Central African mangroves on the coast, especially in the Muni River estuary. The cross Sanaga Bioko coastal forest ecoregion covers most of Bioko and the adjacent portions of the Cameroon and Nigeria on the African mainland and the Mount Cameroon and Bioko montane forest ecoregions covering the highlands of Bioko and nearby Mount Cameroon. The Sao Tome Principe and Anobo Moist Lowland Forest ecoregion covers all of Anobo as well as Sao Tome and Principe. Number 5. Equatorial Guinea's rich economy favors a few. Before independence, Equatorial Guinea exported cocoa, coffee, and timber, not only to its colonial ruler, Spain, but also to Germany and the UK. But the discovery of large oil reserves in 1996 and its subsequent exploitation contributed to a dramatic increase in government revenue as Equatorial Guinea became one of the largest oil producers in Sub-Saharan Africa. Forestry, farming, and fishing are also major components of GDP and subsistence farming predominates. From 2000 to 2010, Equatorial Guinea had the highest average annual increase in GDP, 17%. According to the World Bank, Equatorial Guinea has the highest gross national income per capita of any African country, 83 times larger than the GNI per capita of Burundi, the poorest country. Despite subsequently becoming the richest country per capita in Africa, with a gross domestic product adjusted for purchasing power parity per capita, ranking 43rd in the world, the wealth is however extremely unevenly distributed with few people benefiting from the oil riches, while others are barely afloat. The country ranks 144th on the 2019 Human Development Index, with less than half the population having access to clean drinking water and 20% of children dying before the age of 5. Number 6. All Equatorial Guinean airlines are banned in the EU. Due to the large oil industry in the country, internationally recognized carriers fly to Malabo International Airport, which in May 2014 had several direct connections to Europe and West Africa. There are three airports in Equatorial Guinea Malabo International Airport, Bata Airport and the new Anobo Airport on the island of Anobo. Malabo International Airport is the only international airport. Every airline registered in Equatorial Guinea appears on the list of air carriers prohibited in the European Union, which means that they are banned from operating services of any kind within the EU. However, freight carriers provide service from European cities to the capital. Number 7. The demography is diverse to a lesser degree. The population of this beautiful nation is not as diverse as many of its neighboring counterparts in both ethnicity, language, and religion. The majority of the people of Equatorial Guinea are of Bantu origin. The largest ethnic group, the Fang, is indigenous to the main island and constitute 80% of the population and comprise around 67 clans. Those in the northern part of Rio Muni speak Fang Tumo, while others in the south speak Fang Oka. The two dialects have differences but are mutually intelligible. Dialects of Fang are also spoken in parts of neighboring Cameroon and Gabon. The Bubi, who constitute 15% of the population, are indigenous to Bioko Island. Coastal ethnic groups sometimes referred to as Ndowe or Blayeros, which means beach people in Spanish, together comprise 5% of the population. The principal religion in Equatorial Guinea is Christianity, the faith of 93% of the population. Roman Catholics make up the majority of 88%, while a minority are Protestants who make up 5% and 2% of the population follow Islam, mainly Sunni. The remaining 5% practice animism, Baha faith and other beliefs. Number 8. Equatorial Guinea is attracting a lot of foreigners. A growing number of foreigners from neighboring Cameroon, Nigeria, Gabon, and Asians have immigrated to the country as workers on cocoa and coffee plantations. Other black Africans came from Liberia, Angola, and Mozambique. Most of the Asian populations are Chinese, with some small amounts of Indians. Equatorial Guinea has also been a destination for fortune-seeking European settlers from Britain, France, Germany, as well as Israelis and Moroccans, which also live and work in Equatorial Guinea. Oil extraction since the 1990s has contributed to a doubling of the population in Malabo. After independence, thousands of Equatorial Guineans went to Spain, while another 100,000 Equatorial Guineans went to Cameroon, Gabon, Nigeria, because of dictatorship of Francisco Marcia Sunguema. Some Equatorial Guinean communities are also found in Latin America, the United States, Portugal, and France. Number 9. Equatorial Guinea once had the highest illiteracy rates. Under Francisco Marcia's education was neglected, and few children received any type of education. Under President Obiang, the literacy rate dropped from 73 to 13%. The number of primary school students rose from 65,000 in 1986 to more than 100,000 in 1994. Education is free and compulsory for children between the ages of 6 
and Equatorial Guinea government has partnered with Hairs Corporation and the Academy for Educational Development to establish a $20 million education program for primary school teachers to teach modern child development techniques. There are now 51 model schools whose active pedagogy will be a national reform. In recent years, with change in the economic and political climate and government social agendas, several cultural dispersions and literacy organizations have been founded, chiefly with the financial support of the Spanish government. The country has one university, the Universidad Nacional de Guinea Equatorial, with a campus in Malabo and a faculty of medicine located in Bata on the mainland. In 2009, the university produced the first 110 national doctors. The Bata Medical School is supported principally by the government of Cuba and staffed by Cuban medical educators and physicians. Number 10. Tourism in Equatorial Guinea is almost non-existent. Equatorial Guinea currently has no UNESCO World Heritage Site or tentative sites for the World Heritage List. The country has also no documented heritage listed in the memory of the World Program of UNESCO nor any intangible cultural heritage listed in the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. Tourist attractions are the colonial quarter in Malabo, the southern part of the island Bioko where you can hike to the Liliadi Cascade, and to remote beaches to watch nestling turtles, Bata with its shoreline, Paseo Maritimio and the Tour of Liberty, Mongomo with its Basilia, the second largest Catholic church in Africa, and the new plant-built capital, Ciudad de la Paz. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 things you probably didn't know about Equatorial Guinea. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, do all to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.